it's Fox. I'm here with the Japan Crate unboxing. It's been a hot second since I've done one of these and I figured it's time to uh, throw myself back on the wagon because you guys love watching me suffer. And yeah, uh, I am going to apologize in advance. I am like trying to get this finished filming because I have to finish packing and hop in the car and drive. So it's fine. Uh, one of the reasons I haven't done the Japan Korea unboxing, besides the fact that I'm incredibly picky and vegetarian and I always suffer when I make these videos, um, is that they keep coming at times when I'm traveling and so I, I'm just like, I'll do it when I get back and then I get back and the month's over and there's another Japan crate sitting there. Uh. <laughs> anyway, Japan crate, we're gonna do this. Let's go. All right, let's open this. Everything is, everything is very pink. Everything's falling. It's fine. It just says April. Uh, it looks like it's like a a pink theme. It's probably like a sakura blossom thing. All right. I'm so professional. Here's this giant thing. Wow, there's a lot, there's multiple giant things. All right, here's this giant thing. Uh, let's start with this. It is caramel macchiato delicate stars. What? They're crunchy with a white chocolate coating. Oh my God. Oh, why does it, I mean, it's a caramel macchiato. I get it. But this smells like someone, this smells like a Dunkin' Donuts. Like it smells just like coffee. Oh, there's the white chocolate. It smells just like coffee. Not the worst, not the best. There's a bitter aftertaste, but the rest of it's really sweet. So like, my taste buds are a little uncomfortable. Ugh, I hate this already. Poochy strawberry sandwich cookies. It's mini biscuits with strawberry cream. Two things I don't like. They are cute though. Woo, it's a very strawberry smelling. I'm really sad. I know that taste from somewhere, but it also just tastes like I ate a block of strawberry chalk. I don't know, but I'm just like really bummed out. <laughs> that just made me really sad. Hey, it's Felix the cat. Felix, it says inside each piece is a raffle ticket. And if you pull one out that says win, they will give you another piece for free. Doesn't smell like anything. Oh, here's my raffle ticket. Why are there clowns all over it? I also can't read it. This is so hard. So if I want another piece of gum, I'll never know. Doesn't taste like anything either. Eh, it's a little sweet now. It's a big hunk of gum, I don't know. Let's do this weird thing. It is cherry mini mochi. I do like mochi, but I've never had cherry mochi. Oh, what the hell? Oh, it smells like vinegar. Got a little square. That's disappointing. It tastes like mochi, but it's not as soft. It kind of just tastes plain with like a medicine cherry aftertaste. Like, I'll still probably eat it, but I won't enjoy it. <laughs> oh God. I don't know what this is, but I'm already dreading it. It's got super cute packaging. Yep, it's milk candy. It's strawberry milk candy. They're hard candy with a soft, chewy middle. Sounds like my own personal hell. Oh my God, they smell like balloons. <laughs> like balloon latex. Why? That's what it looks like. Oh. oh, it's stuck in my teeth. Oh, it just tastes like milk. There's no strawberry there. You're a liar. I need the taste out of my mouth. Coca-Cola peach. It's limited 
Physician Flammer. I don't even have an opinion on it other than I need it to wash out the smell. It smells like Coke with a plant in it. Oh God, that's not good. That's so weird. That tastes like old Coke that you put a peach candy in. Like I would still probably drink it, but I probably wouldn't pay for it. Now this is deceiving. Cause this is cookie biscuit assortment. But it's got pom pom pourin on the front and I love pom pom pourin. So like, I'm about to get betrayed by someone I love. Cookies? They're not great, but they're not bad. It's, they say choice on them. Choice. I'm not a biscuit fan, but I wouldn't be offended if someone put that in front of me. Now this, this is the cutest shit I've ever seen. It's a tiny piece of cake, but it just says strawberry short chocolate. It's shaped like a strawberry shortcake, but it's made with chocolate. It's super cute still. Tastes like cheap chocolate. I don't care. It's better than half the other stuff I've eaten. This is great. And it's purple. So we're switching it up apparently. Oh, it's no, it's opened. Well, I'm not eating this. Kikun mixed candy. I got purple, so I got lucky. But um, I'm not gonna eat this because it arrived opened. And I'm assuming it just like popped in packing, but even still, I'm not gonna eat it. But it's basically just um, a hard candy. Probably would've liked that one. What is this? I don't know. It's got like a princess on it though. Treasures of the princess. It is a fairy flavored cake cookie that's filled with strawberry and blueberry jam. Sounds awful. Oh, smells like a Fig Newton. I didn't get any jelly. I hate it. What is next? Mini peach. This is cute. Cute mini peach can that looks like a vending machine thing. Got it. Each one holds peach flavored Ramune tablets. I do like Ramune tablets. Wait, question. By Ramune tablets, do they mean tablets you put in Ramune? They taste good. Don't get me wrong. I like them. I just want to know if it's supposed to go in a drink. It's cute. Got a little bunny on it. It says Mochito Ichigo. It's a mochi that's strawberry filled and it comes in pear. It says to share with a friend, but I don't have friends. Now these are soft like actual, actual mochi. Well, so I'm a little disappointed. It says they're strawberry filled and they are, but it looks like they're also like marshmallowy filled. It's not just strawberry. It tastes more like a marshmallow than it does a strawberry. It's good though. I'm gonna eat the one for me and my imaginary friend. Next up are these. Sono Manma Peach. It's gum. One of the three gumballs is very sour and two of them are sweet. Hey, with, play with your friends and see who gets the sour. So we actually did this when I was in Japan, but it was with cream puffs and one of them was wasabi filled. I can tell just by smelling it which one the sour one is. Let's see if I'm right. I never wished I was wrong so badly. I wasn't expecting it to be that bad, holy Jesus. All right, here's a sweet one. The sweet one just tastes bad. It just tastes like nothing. The sour one traumatized me and yet it's still better. I had hopes for this box. Like I had actual hopes. I was like, everything's pink and strawberry flavored. Maybe it won't be so bad. Next is this, Super Mucho Chips. It's plums, Japanese plums. These chips have the iconic sourness of ume balanced with a hint of sweetness. I really liked Japanese plums. I brought a whole bunch home with me when I came home from Japan. So 
So I'm a little pumped about these. That's what they look like, just normal chips. I like that. That was really good. It tastes like a weird, like knockoff of salt and vinegar chips, like maybe like a less strong version, which I also love. I love Japanese plums and the sour plums. I like chips. This is the best item in the whole thing. Last up, we got some weird fishing candy. I'm assuming it's a DIY kit. Doki Doki Fishing. Yeah, it's a DIY to make my own grape flavored fish candy. There's no English instructions. I know sometimes they say like, go on the website, but like, who has time for that? Not me. I just ripped through the instructions. <laughs> it comes with a fishing rod, all right. <laughs> so basically it's telling me to put the string through all the fish molds, which I can do, maybe. There's nothing to hold this string in place. So like, I'm gonna mess this up. I want you all to be aware that this string is not gonna stay. Okay, so now it says take a big scoop of whatever this is. Smells like grape. And then you put a big scoop in the fish. Okay, so don't get your hopes up for this because it's going about as well as you'd expect from me. Okay, so now I take the little side and I put water in it. Well, I just gotta wait for them to become fish. I'll be back, I guess. All right, so it's been like a half hour. How do I pull these out without burning the fish? Ooh, I did it! They barely resemble fish, but they're fish. They're also like, they have like a sandy texture, which is gross. All right. It's not the worst thing I've eaten, but it's definitely not the best. Definitely got like a chalky, sandy texture. Can put those down. Okay. Anyway guys, uh, I hope you liked this Japan Crate unboxing. I hope it made you laugh, because I suffered. If you want your own Japan Crate or any of the other crates they do, I recommend the Kira Kira Crate or the Doki Doki Crate. I review both of those on my Instagram. I love them so much. They're actually really fun to get and I just, they make me really happy. Uh, or if you want, I think they do like a noodle box or something. But if you do, check out the link in my description. Consider using my link because it gets $3 off like your first box, I think. Check out the details down below. Anyway guys, thank you in advance for liking, commenting, subscribing, checking out my Patreon, checking out my merch, checking out my Instagram, or not, whatever, you do you. It's fine. Anyway guys, my name is Fox. I love you all very, 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 very much. And I'll see you all really soon. Bye guys. Charlie likes when I film Japan Crate, don't you? Huh? You get your own little box. You're so excited about it.